What's going on guys, um, welcome to today's video. This is day one from the current week, which was on Monday, and um, we were 4.5 weeks out from this training, training week. So we had four triples with 281 kilograms, which is I think 617 pounds uh, on squats. And then we had four triples with 88% on bench press, which was 158 kilograms. Um, which I'm not sure what that is in pounds. I think it's probably 345, something like that. Um, and then we had two sets of pull-ups, and then that was it. Um, so overall, it was a very, very productive day. Last cycle, we did 280 kilograms for four triples. Uh, so this cycle, we did 281. Now, the only difference is, obviously, this cycle, we are using comp-specific plates. And in the last, we weren't. Now, um, I have weighed all the old plates that I used and pretty much every single one of them um, fell short of the what they said they were. As you may or may not know, obviously gym plates tend to have a kind of plus or minus 0.5%, and then obviously with um, wear and tear and whatnot, um, they were falling about, on average, about 0.5 kilos under what they were meant to. So obviously, stack that up to 280 kilos, that tends to come out at a reasonably significant amount. So, in all honesty, um, unknowingly before was maybe a little bit less than 280 but nonetheless I'm not going to get too caught up in the logistics of things um, I'm just going to take my one kilo PR and um, from where it is and I was happy with how the movement was being executed you know and um, I felt that um, depth and everything was most definitely kind of there I have been working on um, a lot of mobility work um, I've been trying to fix a few wee mobility issues that I tend to have and um, I feel that the deeper I go the more my knees tend to cave in, um, which does tend to lead to me to some form of kind of mobility issues, and um, which I'm trying to fix just to not from a um, injury prevention standpoint, more from a performance standpoint. Um, is knee caving something that I feel you should massively worry about? Honestly, um, it depends on the circumstance, completely depends on the circumstance and depends how much. Um, my knee caving is pretty minimal, you know, and I'm able to kind of get my knees out um, halfway up the lift, which you'll see, um, but I do feel that it is down to some mobility issues, um, and it's, I'm trying to fix that, and I feel that it's not really an injury risk, but I feel that it does tend to kind of sacrifice a little bit of performance, um, in my opinion, you know, um, but overall I was really happy with how they moved, and then moved on to my four triples in bench press, and uh, I've also got a QA and a currently filmed, um, it's a little bit 15 minutes long, and I've also got day two, of training which was done on Tuesday which was deadlifts um, already filmed so I'm going to edit those two tonight so you've got quite a few videos coming um, and I'm finally back on that video grind which is awesome and uh, these are moving really well really happy and um, so it was actually 158.5 kilos on the bench press and um, that extra 0.5 makes a big big difference um, I suppose everything adds up so yeah overall everything's coming together pretty nicely um, just Constantly making sure I'm keeping my recovery work in and then um, just doing everything I can to keep me as healthy as possible outside the gym Especially when you're peaking this hard and going pushing the boat this far for a, a competition as big as the, the the IPF World Championship So this is the end of the video guys and um, thanks for watching and the Q&A will be up tomorrow Literally save your life 85% of the American public